Hello, welcome back to Dr. Carrie's Clinical Corner. Today I want to talk about what are some signs of a tight pelvic floor. So I think the only thing we ever hear about in generically in this world about pelvic floor therapy is or pelvic floor issues is like we got to do more kegels and kegels are the answer to everything. But the patients that I see in my clinic, kegels are rarely the answer or kegels alone are hardly ever the answer. Um, and clinically what I see a lot more often is tightness in the pelvic floor. So I tried to make a list of all the things that are generally usually pelvic floor tightness rather than weakness. And this is not a comprehensive list, but um, if you have any of these things, you, you probably have tightness rather than weakness. And if that's the case, Kegels are not the answer because a Kegel is strength is contracting the muscle and strengthening it. If it's already tight, it could be weak too, but it's weak because it only can contract this much instead of this much. Um, and so first, if it's tight, we gotta get it to relax and then we can work on strengthening, okay? So here's the list that I came up with and I'll, I'll put this on the screen, um, is if you have any type of pelvic pain. So if something hurts pelvically, pelvic wise, and I would say probably in the other parts of the body too, they're, the, probably the muscles around it are tightening to protect it. So that could be in compensation to a weakness elsewhere. Um, but usually when something hurts, it's tight, right? We try to stretch it, we try to foam roll it, we try to massage tight muscles, right? Um, so if our back hurts, we're not trying to like make it stronger. Maybe we do need to make it stronger, but right, that's like we go get a massage, uh, we stretch, right? Um, so same thing in the pelvic floor. Um, pain with sex is a common one I see. So sometimes if the muscles are tight, it's like things can't be inserted because it's too tight. But if we stretch, relax, work on relaxing those muscles, they should be able to soften and expand with sexual activity. Tailbone pain, um, another one. So again, any kind of pain is probably a tightness issue. So here's the pelvis. So here's your tailbone right at the end. And all this red represents muscles, your pelvic floor muscles. So the tailbone connects right into the pelvic floor. And if we look from the other side, from the inside, here is your tailbone and it's surrounded by pelvic floor muscles. So if you have tailbone pain, you probably have pelvic floor tightness as at least a component of what's going on. Also, if you have constipation, um, so when we pee and when we poop, the pelvic floor muscles need to relax so things can pass through. If you um, have difficulty pooping, you're, you're straining a lot, you probably have tight pelvic floor. So constipation also probably has to do with diet and your gut health and a bunch of other things too, potentially. Um, but sometimes it's just pelvic floor tightness and in coordination. So, Kegels, not the answer there. Hemorrhoids also are usually from constipation. It could be from pregnancy or childbirth, um, but usually from a lot of straining with pooping. So we don't need to strengthen those muscles anymore. We need to relax, stretch, open, coordination. Um, also, I hear from a lot of people if they can't fully empty their bowel or bladders, you know, like, oh, I pee, but I feel like it never is empty. I gotta go again soon or I poop, but it never really feels empty. So again, bowel stuff might be related to gut health and processing and what we eat, things like that. Um, but if you can't empty when you pee, maybe you're just in a hurry. You're not giving yourself enough time. Maybe the, t the pelvic floor is tight and it's not letting you. Um, also in the same sort of context, if you have difficulty initiating your urine stream. So normally if the bladder's pretty full, um, when we sit down to pee, things should relax, open, the pee starts to flow. But if it's difficult for you to, to, to get that going, that might be because these muscles are tight and they're not like relaxing and letting things open. Um, you know, that also goes along, some people call that shy bladder. I've had people tell me like, oh, I have a shy bladder. Like I just, I can't pee in public, public restrooms. Um, you know, I, it takes me a long time to like, yeah, get my urine stream started. Like 
I just have a shy bladder, right? Um, but probably you have tightness in your pelvic floor. So normal, mechanically, what happens in our body is our, our pelvic floor is like the, the, there's like what's called a sphincter that, that um, is closed. So partly it's automatic and partly it's a little bit of pelvic floor. This is the bladder. Um, but also the same thing in the bowels. So this is like the end of your colon. So there's a sphincter, but then it's also partly pelvic floor. So this is closed until we go to the toilet and then this opens. So poop or pee can come through. And then when we're done, closes again, right? But if, if this is tight, I can't hold two of them. If this is tight and it has difficulty relaxing and opening to let it pee, then it might like take extra time to start that. Um, so again, tightness rather than weakness. Um, also, if you have a weak urine stream, so sometimes in men, this is a prostate issue. So in men, the prostate sits right here and the prostate sort of intertwines with the bladder sphincter. So sometimes for men, it's really common as men age, the, the prostate starts to get bigger. So sometimes we call that benign prostate hypertrophy. Hypertrophy just means enlargement. Um, and that just means it's just getting bigger for whatever reason. It also can be cancerous, prostate cancer, super common in older men, very treatable, get your testing done regularly. Um, so, yeah, so sometimes it can be that, like the prostate is like interrupting this. But for anyone that's not in that category who, or that you've had your prostate checked out and it's fine, um, or if you don't have a prostate <laughs> or you're a woman, you weren't born with one, um, then uh, a, a weak urine stream can mean, again, these muscles aren't fully relaxing because they're tight and they have difficulty relaxing. So if it's like just trickles out, you know, or it's like a thin urine stream, it's not like a normal urine stream, could be tightness. Um, also commonly people who have to pee a lot. So again, in men as they age, like I would just say like 50 plus, um, it could be the prostate. So as men age and the prostate gets bigger, sometimes like that is pushing on the bladder and making you feel like you have to go. But it also could be tight pelvic floor muscles. And if those are pushing on the bladder, that makes you feel like you have to pee. Um, so something is probably pushing on the bladder, making you feel like you have to pee um, and making you feel like you have to go more often. So sometimes for my patients, it's just habits and we got to work on their habits, but sometimes they have tightness. Very, very rarely would I say that my patients who have um, urinary frequency and urgency, very rarely do they have weak pelvic floor muscles. So usually it's either habits or tightness. Um, so all these things, there's a lot of things that people just think like, oh, only if I have pain with sex do I have tight muscles, but all these other things too. Um, and sometimes my patients who have bladder leakage with running, sometimes they also have tight pelvic floor muscles. And again, anytime of anything bladder related, people automatically think, I gotta do Kegels, it's weak, right? Like I get men referred to me that are older that have these urinary symptoms like weakness, weak, weak pelvic floor stream, ah, oh, sorry, weak urinary stream, difficulty initiating their urine, feeling like they have to pee a lot. And sometimes it's just in a large prostate, right? But still their doctors are like, they need to learn to do Kegels. And then I test them and it's like, their pelvic floor strength is fine, right? And for females, Again, everyone thinks if they have a bladder issue, it's weakness, I gotta do Kegels, but often it's not. Like if you feel like you constantly need to pee, you're constantly running to the bathroom, majority of the time, either your pelvic floor is normal or you have tightness. Um, very rarely is there weakness. And again, often, so very often, when I see women for bladder leakage with exercise, or also I should say bladder leakage with coffee and sneezing. So we kind of all, these are grouped as they call stress urinary incontinence. It has to do with the physical like pressure, stress from like exercise, running, lifting weights, sneezing, coughing, laughing. So, so often they have tightness. So sometimes they have weakness, but so very often they have tightness. 
And then they also might have weakness of their hips and that's why their pelvic floor is overactive and tight. Um, so again, we gotta look at the whole picture. Um, but for most of these scenarios, if you have difficulty initiating your urine stream, a weak urine stream, frequent urination, um, constipation, hemorrhoids, difficulty emptying your bowel and bladder, any kind of pain, pelvic pain, pain with sex, top bone pain, all these things are mostly, most often, tight pelvic floor muscles. And if you have tight pelvic floor muscles, we don't need to tighten them more. So we need to work on relaxing first and then we can see if they have proper strength or not. But if they're already tight and we're just trying to like tighten more, strengthen more, it's gonna be ineffective. So see a pelvic floor therapist. Um, I have some programs for the bladder that I'll link below, like some free trainings and some paid trainings. Um, I have a pelvic floor membership that has both strengthening and stretching that have nothing to do with Kegels, but we're helping support the surrounding muscles um, or see a pelvic floor therapist or come see me or schedule an online session. Um, there's so many things we can do and I, I hate the message that it's just Kegels or for a lot of my female clients like, yeah, you just gotta live with it. It's normal. That's part of being a woman or that's part of like going through a pregnancy. It's not normal and there's help. So let's get you help.